Hi, I'm David House. Um, I'm a uh, friend of Bradley Mangs who's involved with the support campaign. Um, I've been visiting Bradley and the Brig since September. Upon arriving at the Brig this weekend, on entry to the base, we were stopped, uh, Jane Hampshire, a blogger from DC and I, by uh, military police who detained us for two hours. Despite the fact that I'm on the approved visitation list for the Brig, these military police offered no real explanation for our detainment. Uh, and in this two hour process, they uh, towed the vehicle we were in because we didn't have a paper copy of the insurance card. We only had a digital copy, which they, not, they would not accept. They kept us from seeing Bradley Manning uh, because they kept us uh, detained from 1 p.m. when we arrived until 2.50 p.m., 10 minutes before his, uh, his visitation hours are over. During this time, uh, we were not allowed to go into the base, nor were we allowed to leave the base, despite the fact we were only really 10 feet inside. Um, we were just kept there in detainment without being charged, without being accused of committing any crime. Uh, I've been visiting Bradley, like, like I said, several times, and this is the first time this has ever happened to this degree. It's the first time that uh, Jane Hampshire has been driving me out of the base, or myself, has ever had a problem seeing Bradley Manning. So this detainment comes at a really interesting time because just last week, uh, Bradley Manning's attorney issued an Article uh, 138 complaint against the Briggs commander, alleging that the Briggs commander had uh, misabused his authority uh, in confining Bradley Manning in overly harsh conditions and inhumane conditions. In addition, uh, Amnesty International last week released a call uh, for Bradley Manning's conditions of confinement, uh, solitary confinement, to be uh, investigated. And the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture has announced he will be, in law he will be launching an investigation uh, into Bradley Manning's conditions of confinement. Next weekend, I'll be traveling back to the Quantico Brig to visit Bradley Manning. Um, I will be taking with me a petition with 42,000 signatures on it uh, that calls for a stop to his inhumane conditions of confinement. If you think that Bradley Manning's conditions are really harsh, uh, if you heed the call of Amnesty International, of the UN, of his lawyer, and of myself, uh, I urge you to go online um, to firedoglake.com and uh, to sign this petition so that when I go to the Brig Commander next week, I don't have 40,000 signatures, I have 100,000 signatures.